Hey, me mates. My name's David James. I'm here to make a spot of supper for you this evening. Um, it's going to be a chicken dish with mashed potatoes. Um, we have a fresh chicken breast here. We have a nice ripe tomato, some mozzarella cheese, some onions, minced garlic, roasted red peppers, balsamic vinaigrette. And for the mashed potatoes, we'll be using some butter, some milk, and some delicious white potatoes. Now, we also have a couple different spices this evening, but I'll be introducing them as we use them. Um, for starters, we've got the water boiling, so we need to get these potatoes in the uh, in the fucking pot. Now, since these uh, potatoes are going to be um, mashed when they're actually cooked, so you want to get, cut them nice and small so that they actually boil faster. So roughly about that size, any of those sizes will do. I'm also going to leave the skins on because they leave a nice texture and add a little bit of flavour and nutrition as well. Now, once you have a sufficient amount of potatoes, you're going to want to take a moment to take the boiling water off the heat, burn yourself, pardon my language, and you can take them and you're just going to put them in the water. Now that all the potatoes are in the pot, you take the pot and you're going to put it back on the heat so you can get up to a nice white boil. Now while the potatoes are boiling, you're going to want to come over here to the chicken and you're actually going to get it started. Normally you have to cut out the fat and the icky bits, but they've actually uh, been done nicely right for us. So we're going to take them, we're going to place them on the pan that we have over here. It's already hot and coated with olive oil to help with the cooking process. So we're going to lay them down like so, not overlapping because you want them to cook evenly. All right, I haven't desanitized this cut more because you don't want to get food poisoning from the chicken. We're going to take the vegetables and we're actually going to start to cut them up. Now for the vegetables, you're going to want to use about a half an onion, because you don't want to have too much onion, even though it's absolutely fantastic. As the chicken is cooking, you want to have another skillet with a little bit of olive oil, so that you can sauté the onions that you've just finely diced. As you can see, it's nice, very small, manageable pieces. Put them into the pan. As you're sautéing, you're also going to want to prepare the other vegetables. Now, while the onions are sautéing, you're going to want to prepare the, the uh, red roasted peppers to get out of this jar here. They usually come in large pieces, you're going to have to cut them up a little bit. Now, since the pans we're using are actually coated in Teflon, you're not going to want to use a metal because it can actually scratch it and release some of the chemicals into the food that you're going to eat. So I'm going to use this nice plastic one just to flip the chicken. See how it's nice and white on the other side, it's a good sign. You don't want, actually want any of the chicken to be pink in the middle because it might actually get salmonella and it will end up with something much worse than the British cooking, I'll guarantee you that. And just before we add the red peppers, we're actually going to add some in balsamic vinaigrette just to add a little bit more flavour to it. Alright, now to add the red peppers. Into the sautéing onions with the olive oil and the balsamic vinaigrette. While the chicken is cooking and the vegetables are simmering in the balsamic vinaigrette and olive oil, we're going to take a check on those potatoes. When the potatoes are cooked, you'll know they're cooked because you can, actually, you can actually cut right through them, just like butter. Oh, that looks just about right. Alright, now having adequately drained the potatoes, you're going to want to put them into a large bowl so that you can mash them. You're going to be using a, a modified version of a whisk just because it can actually cut the potatoes as well. Now for the potatoes, you're going to want to add roughly one to two tablespoons of butter and use milk just to get it to the right texture that you like. <laughs> now while the butter's melting in there and the rest of the vegetables are sautéing, you're going to take the chicken, it's on a very low heat, and we're going to add fresh bits of mozzarella. I like to use a lot of um, garlic in the cooking. It's uh, really I guess you could say a British tradition. All right, fantastic. As you can see, the cheese is melted nicely and evenly over the chicken. I think it's time to eat. All right, mates, thanks for sticking with me throughout this uh, entire program. Um, again, I'm David James, and this is my magical mystery chicken.